Reddit what's the most shocking thing you've seen in public? Witness the Centennial Park bombings in Atlanta 1996. The ground shook and my dad's co-worker looked at us and said. I was in Nam. That was a bomb. We need to get out of here right now. A 60 something year old man standing outside of an emergency department screaming that his daughter was dead. When I was around 9 years old. I was playing in the backyard when I heard a ground shaking boom. I looked up and the house across the smallish field had exploded. I hopped on my bike and rode over. I stayed and watched in awe while a crowd gathered. Firemen had come and sectioned it off so I stay behind the small barricade until the fire was eventually put out. Once everything calmed down. I was able to see the metal skeleton of a man's truck. And the man's charred body in what used to be the garage. Apparently he was working on his truck when the propane tanks in the garage ignited. Another time. About 10 years ago. I was living in a really shady area. Woke up. Had coffee. And went to go for a walk. Went outside and saw a body lying in front of an abandoned house directly across the street. He was lying beside a broken window with blood all over his hands. 911 was called. Turned out to be a homeless man who bled froze to death trying to find shelter. Must have cut his wrists or something. I saw a guy commit suicide in Manhattan by jumping off a building. I was working in the building across the street and saw him falling. I found out the next day he was a lawyer and his wife was leaving him. So he stayed at his office the whole night drinking. The next morning he decided to jump. When I first came to this country. I lived in San Francisco for a while. On my very first day there I was walking around trying to get situated. And sitting on the steps of City Hall I saw a man of about 60 or so wearing a leather Nazi hat and jack boots. But otherwise totally nude. Furiously jerking off. It was pretty shocking to me. But I came to realize that's just another day in SF. Two homeless guys fking outside Walmart. I saw this in a subway car once. At least outside Walmart you could walk away. I still can't get the slap 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 out of my brain. No matter how hard I tried. I couldn't even look away. My buddy and I were at the Philadelphia Art Museum and there was this huge drunk dude who decided to recreate the magic of Rocky by running up the steps. As he was running. His shorts fell down around his ankles and he face planted hard. He stood up all woozy and proceeded to tumble backwards down the steps and landed right next to us. He stands up with his face bloodied and his limp cock flopping out of his piss flap. So my buddy walks up to him and raises the guy's arm above his head like he just won the heavyweight championship of the world. Is the strip club considered public? So I was at a small club with my friend and the girl on stage was complaining that she had to pee. One of the guys sitting at the rack chugged the rest of his beer and handed her his empty glass. She. Still on stage. Squats over the beer glass and urinates into it filling the entire glass. Then the stripper hands the glass back to the guy and he starts chugging her pee. He drank the whole glass. Later in the night the same stripper was walking around with a used tampon in her drink. My friend who knows the owner of the strip club said that girl got fired that night. When I was a kid I went skiing with my school. There were about 50 kids of 10 to 13. All in small groups. Getting the chair lift up the mountain. Coming down the other way was a guy sitting on his own. Erect cock in hand. Smiling broadly as he spanked it. We all thought it was hilarious but. With hindsight. I guess that guy was something of a pedophile. Comma I guess that guy was something of a pedophile. When I first moved to China. I went for a walk pretty early in the morning on a small side street to get some snacks for the weekend. Suddenly. Two guys sort of ran into each other and grappled briefly before one of them ran away and the other started hobbling in the other direction while holding his stomach. The people next to me tutted and muttered that guy just got stabbed but apart from that. Literally no one reacted. They all shuffled off in different directions. I saw a woman jump from a second story apartment balcony to the ground. She broke her leg. Shortly after. Man came running from the apartment yelling and started beating her with a hammer. 
While this is happening a car happened to be driving by and it stopped and three guys got out and attacked he hammer wielding man. They beat him severely. I was already on the phone with the cops by that time. They showed up pretty quickly. After they broke it up I find out what happened. Woman was trying to break up with boyfriend and chased her in the apartment with a hammer. She jumped to escape. The guys in the car were strangers. They saw her jump and get attacked with a hammer so they intervened. When the paramedics carted the hammer guy off he looked in really bad shape. When I was 5 year old. I saw a mob outside my house burning a woman alive. So my family is from Russia. I grew up in America. My mom and I went back when I was 14 for vacation. We're in some part of St. Petersburg and there's a dude on a park bench feeding a bear cub that had to have weighed around 100 pounds with a baby bottle. Craziest part is people were hardly reacting. Like. People acted as if it were a cute dog and not a killing machine. There was vodka in the bottle. I saw a guy get a broken JD bottle in the face. It went into the guy's face around to the left side of his mouth and left cheek. Then the attacker twisted the bottle and essentially tripled the size of the guy's mouth. Our bar work where I spend one stroke three of my time serving drinks. One stroke three treating wounds and one stroke three unclogging toilets. Only the first thing was in my job description. I once saw a dead body in the middle of the street. I don't think I've gotten over it. Sounds like you should have went around it instead. I'll show myself out. Unedit. I saw a lady get dragged across the beach by a parasail. She was just dragged like a ragdoll smashing into coolers chairs and bouncing off the ground before she was stopped by the volleyball poles. Then there was a bunch of f up people taking pictures of her with their phones. Disgusting. I honestly don't what was more shocking. Seeing someone die in such a violent way or seeing how heartless people could be. Oh god. I was one of those shtty people one time. I saw this guy parasailing crash into one of the dunes and sort of roll through some bristly things and laughed. Because it really didn't look like it was seriously going to injure him. He died. And I feel like a shthed still. Edit. My top comment is about me being a douche. Cool. Went to a mall in China. Saw a mom letting her baby take a shtee on the floor. Mind you this was a nice mall. And the baby was squatting in the middle of the floor and taking a shtee on the tile floors. The mom had a little baggie as if she were picking up dog shtee. She had a baggie. One of the good ones. My dad, a sheriff's deputy, was searching a house on a warrant once. A rather obnoxious woman was sitting on the front porch while they searched. Holding her baby and running her mouth the whole time. The baby's nose was running like a faucet and one the deputies finally said shut up and clean that baby's nose. She grabbed the baby's head with both hands. Wrapped her lips around little baby's front face. And hoovered out the sinuses. She spit the baby logy out and went back to fussing. Edit. One New Year's Eve. About 5 p.m. I was walking through town and I come to a big noisy circle of people. Gathered around something. Cheering. I push through far enough to see that it's a guy fking a girl. Doggy style. Right in the middle of the street. I was quite impressed. Must have been a hundred people gathered round. I guess they couldn't wait till they got home. Full stop. Full stop. He had to keep his adrenaline up so the poison wouldn't kill him. I went on a vacation to El Salvador and we usually cruised around the street markets in San Salvador. But on this one particular day. We saw this guy that was a little off. I felt it. My brother felt it. We all felt it. He looked intoxicated and yeah. Just off. Like something was about to happen to him. A moment later. He literally stabbed himself in the throat. Blood was just gushing out. It was disgusting. The facial expression was so careless as well. Like he wasn't in pain at all. Blood was just gushing out and he was like. Holding out his hands for it like water. It was just pouring down. We drove away pretty quickly. But it was weird as fck. Blood everywhere. TL. DR. Guy looked weird and drugged I suppose. 
stabbed himself in the throat and blood was all over the place. I lived in Mick. I have too many stories. 1. Homeless looking guy drops a white powdery substance on the one train. He proceeds to furiously lick the floor to get all the powder. I imagine it was a drug. I don't know. I gagged. 2. Woman nonchalantly pisses her pants while waiting for the train. Just stood there unconcerned as the puddle forms and starts spreading in a thin line down the platform. 3. Many stories of men masturbating in the street. At the movies. On trains. It's a standard experience for nigh. Saw an old man getting crushed under the bus with his scooter. I still get chills thinking about it. There was so much blood and one of the lady who witnessed it fainted. I saw a woman repeatedly jamming her finger up a kid's ass on a plane. She just took the nappy down and finger fk'd him for about 10 seconds while I retched and the woman next to me turned away in horror. The stench of shti was then recycled through the whole plane for about an hour. Apparently the kid was sick and she was ramming a aspirin up there. Seriously though. It's what we invented fking bathrooms for. But she couldn't be bothered to walk the 10 foot to the bathroom to do it. Comma ramming a aspirin up there. Oh my. Apparently I've taken aspirin the wrong way all these years. We have this kid in our school band who has pretty severe aspages that his mom refuses to acknowledge or treat. Everyone hates him because he is a complete f-king asshole to everyone no matter how tolerable they are towards him. Anyway. He regularly shoves his hands down the back of his pants and picks at his ass. Then. He looks at his hands and cleans the shti out from under his nails with his teeth. Worse still. We're percussionists. We share sticks and mallets. We've been complaining to the director about pink eye. I saw a homeless looking guy pissing into a bargain bin at the Walgreens on Michigan Ave. Downtown Chicago. Dude had the nerve to look back at me mid-league like I was the crazy one. Witnessed an old scraggly lady get on a bus with a giant plastic bucket filled with urine. The smell was horrific. Why would the driver let her get on the bus? On public I think when I saw two people be shot on the street and a third kidnapped. But that's normal in Mexico. NSFL saw a guy get ran over by a semi. I was about 20 feet away and watched the whole thing happen. It wasn't quick either the semi was stopped when an elderly man rode in front of it on his bike and it started forward and never saw him. Caught him under the driver's side tire and slowly sucked him under until his head just popped open like a pimple and brains squirted out onto the road. When I lived in Japan. I remember seeing an old Japanese homeless man in a vacant lot, just small enough for a single home, by the side of a very small suburban road on the outskirts of Ikabukuro. The man, laying on his back completely naked, proceeded to start touching himself vigorously just in time for a parade of five-year-olds coming home from school to walk by. Uniforms and yellow baseball caps and all. I remember trying to distract their young, adorable gazes away from the emsturbating man. But I'm sure some of them are still scarred. Then again. This was Japan. I'm sure they're exposed to strange shit all the time. It's okay. Driving down a rural road in Florida and about 20 baby black and tan pigs escaped from a farm and ran out in the road in front of a massive truck coming the other way. The truck hit the pigs with full force and bits of smashed up piglet went everywhere right in front of our car. Still gives me a sad when I think about it and it was years ago. One time. I went over to my friend's house only to find out that no one in his family uses coasters on their living room table. It's nice to finally get us off my chest. Thanks guys. EWOK. This kid I know on campus at the community college threw up after him and my friend tried to do the milk challenge. My friend got a half gallon down but stopped since he quit and didn't want to do it anymore. My friend stupidly dared the other kid to eat a chunk of the vomit that came up for 50 bucks and he did. He put it in his mouth and chewed it like it was actual food and swallowed it. Reading that made me want to vomit. A dog completely covered in ticks from head to tail. Looked like reptile skin. 
I was walking through the Mexican border town of Reynosa and saw a man sitting by himself at the doorstep of a building. I looked more closely and realized his face was half rotted off. And you could see bone on his face. Very pregnant girl smoking and drinking at an outdoor concert. I've lived a surprisingly sheltered life. I saw the Keene State Pumpkin Fest riots firsthand. I got to watch cops move down streets like Roman legions. I got to watch riot control methods firsthand and watch them use methods that were later denied being used on the news the next day. The craziest part was watching a helicopter announce disperse or you will be arrested it was some real kooky tea. I worked an airborne law enforcement association conference in Savannah, Georgia one year. It was basically a police helicopter convention. I was outside having a smoke by the hotel loading dock. And the cops were demonstrating a new loudspeaker for helicopters. They were saying things like please proceed to the evacuation area and whatnot. Right as they said stop where you are. Put your hands in the air a black houseman from the hotel came out back for a smoke. The dude dropped his cigarette. Put his hands up. And did not move. I had to explain to him what was happening to get him to relax. He said to me understand. I went round here don't fck around with the police. Dude on Bourbon Street jerking his business while staring at some strip club advertisement poster on the wall. I was in Boston for a few hours when I saw some overdosing outside a Walgreens in the middle of the day. I could hear from the crowd that an ambulance had been summoned so I went shopping. Someone dropped a head on my block. I didn't find it. But I went up to see it. News travels fast. I always wondered who that poor bastard was and if anyone ever missed his head. A few months ago I saw a guy in a parking lot carrying groceries to his car. In the other hand he had a baby boy in one of the baby purses. The things that if you carry a baby around in with the large handle I forgot the name. Anyways. The baby was crying and so he set the baby purse on the back of the car and started screaming at the kid. Like an inch from the kid's face. Who is just a poor infant? Shut up. Shut the fck up and the likes. I was so shocked to see that. I've never really had similar interests with my dad. So we didn't get along that great. But I felt so bad for the kid and grateful my father would never sow that. I called him and told him I loved him after I got back to my car. I was riding the subway and a couple were arguing. It gets pretty heated and the guy backhands her in the face. He then tries to run off the train since we arrived at a stop. Two men sitting next to me take off after him and beat the shti out of him on the platform. Everyone cheered. I saw the guy drop his trousers and do a shti on the underground subway in protest for being escorted out. I will never forget the sound of a drunk's turd being forced out. The noise it made as it hit the floor still echoes through my mind. When I was in nursing school we toured the morgue on our night shift. A young girl had been cut in two on one of the major highways. I missed the school bus and instead chose to catch a public bus. I caught it and was minding my own business. Until a gorgeous woman next to me started to breastfeed her baby. The baby wouldn't take it. And I heard her say come on. Drink it or. I'll have to give it to this nice man here. Five minutes later. The baby was still not feeding. And she said. Come on. Honey. Take it or I'll give it to this nice man here. A few minutes later. I got pissed and blurted out. Come on. Kid. Make up your mind. I was supposed to get off 4 stops ago. Reminds me of the time my girlfriend and I took a city bus. This incredibly gorgeous. Petite. Thai girl sat down across from us. She kept giving me these overly conspicuous SR looks. All I could think was not now. Don't get a boner. Don't get a boner. And then she did. I've only been to BC twice in the summer. And both times I've seen body bags on the side of the roads. 575 northbound. Traffic reporter said there were two pedestrians hit by a car. There was only one. Early 70s? Dot. Folly Beach. SC. Church brought buses of kids to the beach. Five drowned. Saw one wrapped around a pier. 
a gallery in Sydney did this thing a while back where they'd have nighttime nude tours. And I mean that literally. You took a tour of the gallery with a bunch of other people. All naked. Don't ask me why. I don't get art. Anyway. This museum has a glass walled staircase between floors that sits a short way down an alley. That comes off a major pedestrian road. As it so happens me and my friends were walking to a pub and noticed a bunch of naked people going down these stairs. Naturally we stopped and watched with the crowd that had gathered. Most of these people were. Not the kind of people you want to see naked. Some old. Some obese. A couple of bikers. It was horrible but mesmerizing. Then the last two were a pair of attractive young girls. Who noticed the crowd and danced around on the stairs for a while. 